Hey Aries, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a reading to see what messages the divine currently has for you in love. This message is for Aries and for those who have Aries anywhere in their natal chart, okay? Cross washers, you are welcome here because energies are fluid. So keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Never force a reading though. If this is for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force it. If it does resonate, be sure to tap that like button. It lets me know, and it lets me know you want to see more of these videos. Let's we'll start off by, I'm actually going to read in past, present, and future for you guys today. Show me the messages for Aries. Show me what I need to see for Aries. I'm going to start with the tarot deck, okay? Right away. Show me the messages for Aries, please. Wow, there's a lot going on in this connection. In the past, I have the Hermit Reverse and the Nine of Pentacles Reverse. I'm getting Virgo energy. I feel that right now you and your person are not together, okay? Um, and I feel like someone's being very isolated. I feel like the person you may be connecting with is in very, very intense, isolated energy. Just completely closed off. Very withdrawn. And, it, and I feel like it's like there's an instability here that's causing this isolation. It's fear. With this Nine of Pentacles reverse, this person lacks independency and stability. And I get this person having money problems, being very reckless with their spending. And this is in the recent past, by the way, okay? The past is any time that happened already. You guys know that. It could be yesterday, you know, last week, last month, last year. But I feel like this is more recent past. This person is very closed off and very unstable. In the current position, I got Aries energy with the tower. And the two of wands reverse. Again, fear. Fear, fear is keeping this person stuck. I'm just getting very, very destructive behavior coming from someone in this connection. I feel like it's your person. All right? They may be going through... some sort of something painful emotionally is happening here there's a lot of trauma with your person currently okay and I feel like their foundation is just being destroyed because it has to be rebuilt it's like there's a collapse of an old way of life like there's something that needs to be destroyed because it's, just, it's simply not stable. And this person is not willing to change. So change is being forced on this person. Okay, this is what's happening currently. All right, and in the future position, I got the lovers reverse, Gemini energy, and the knight of swords. So I see this person, you know, this is a person that comes in and out of this connection. This is a person that ghosts the connection. And I see this person wanting to come back in again. It's a very hasty energy. Somebody wants to come in with some honesty about something, but still lack accountability. With this lover's reverse, this is somebody that still causes conflict, disunion, and detachment. So this person is coming in, but not without any drama. And this person is going to come in fast. Show me more for this future position. Show me one more, please. For Aries. 
this person feels like they always get what they want. They're coming back in with this cockiness. But with the Four of Pentacles, this is somebody that's not letting go of their issues. They're not being accountable, accountable for their behavior. They're not letting go of things that um issues from the past. They're holding on to their deep-seated past issues that they're coming back with. I do get them being very honest and direct about something, though. But this is a warning against this kind of impulsive behavior. Show me one more. Five of Swords reverse. This, this, you know, there's a need here. There's somebody who wants to end this conflict. Your person wants to, to, to compromise with you and communicate and end the conflict peacefully. But the thing is, they can't do that without accountability. They're coming in here with the same energy of haste and projection. They're not going to get the peaceful resolve that they're seeking. But in their head, they're like, this is me coming in to communicate and to compromise. Show me some more in this connection. Show me the breakdown. In the breakdown with this connection, I got the Queen of Swords reverse, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like this person was connected to somebody else. Some shady person in, with this Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody that couldn't be trusted. Show me more, please, for the breakdown, please. They're coming in with communication, though, about the situation, but it does involve a Queen of Swords reverse. With this Ace of Swords, they're coming in with communication. They're coming in with some sort of clarity. But um, regardless of what the breakdown here is that Actually, they're not coming in with clarity because they're coming, they're, they're coming in with honesty. They're just coming in with hastiness. But I also feel, because I got this Ace of Swords to clarify this Queen of Swords reverse. This person got mental clarity on this Queen of Swords reverse. This is somebody that was being shady with them. Somebody that they couldn't trust. Okay? I'm getting Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius with this sword energy, this air energy. But they got clarity on somebody. They realized the truth about someone, about this Queen of Swords reverse. Okay, um, but the bottom line is they allowed this person to, to draw them away from this connection. But now this person wants to come back. They want to come back to you. I'm getting with the Six of Cups. They want to come back. They want to return. But this person is very childish and very immature. They do want to come back. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Because I asked for the breakdown. This person abandoned this connection. This person abandoned this connection for this Queen of Swords reverse. Show me why the Six of Cups is here. This Six of Cups is telling me that the person that your person abandoned you for is um, somebody from their past. It's somebody from their past. Okay, but they realize, you know, and it was again, this is what caused the breakdown. This person left you for this person. We're going to find out why. This is Aquarius energy with the star reverse, but it was like a negative, it was a negative situation. It was hopeless. Like, so now, you know, this person, why is this Eight of Cups here though? Show me why. I want to see if this Eight of Cups is them leaving you because I said the breakdown or returning. I got the sun. This person wants to come towards you. They abandoned this person because they see the truth about them. So the breakdown is this person definitely, you know, chose this queen of swords reverse, but then they, you know, and again, this could be somebody from their past, but they realized that they made a bad decision and they want to move forward and they want to be open and honest with you. <laughs> this is crazy, yo. Show me more about this Queen of Swords reverse, please. Show me more. Wow. 
they realize they, they chose the wrong person. I got the nine of cups. Again, this person got clarity about this person that they left you for, which was the breakdown. This disloyalty, this person going on thinking that this was a better decision and realizing that it wasn't. And now they want to return to you because they feel like you're their fulfillment. You're their wish fulfillment. You're the one that they should be with. I got the sun and the, the nine of cups. It's just that this person is not smart enough to know what to do. They're not savvy enough to realize that how they're going about it is is not impressive. Like coming in hasty and coming in cocky after disconnecting from you and not being accountable for their behavior with this lover's reverse. And then they're still holding on to past issues but in expecting a resolution with you, a peaceful resolve. Show me Aries person's current feelings for Aries. Wow, shout out. Show me one more, please. I got the High Priestess, the Empress, and the Fool. They're just trying to listen. This person feels like it's time to listen to their intuition about you. They feel like emotional stability is tied to you. And there are things that haven't been revealed yet. They just want to listen to their gut about it. They see that you're a higher level person with this Empress card. Very nurturing. They feel like love and healing and harmony is, can be with you. That you're the right person. And they're, they're just trying to take this leap of faith with this with the full Aquarius energy and Libra, Libra energy here. This person just feels like I need to take this, this, this leap of faith towards Aries. Okay? The numbers 230 may be significant to you, 230. Show me um, Aries feelings for this person, please. This past person that they chose over you could have been, could be like an ex or ex-child's, you know, baby's mother or something. But now they're abandoning that person. They're gonna be they're gonna be abandoning that person and coming towards you in the near future. Okay, show me Aries feelings for that person currently. What's Aries current feelings for this person? Show me one more, please. There it is. All right, I have the Six of Swords. The, the King of Swords reversed in the Eight of Wands. Okay, again, a lot of air energy. Your feelings is, you feel like you recognize, you feel like this person is very selfish and very devious. You do not trust this person. You feel like they knew exactly what they were doing, like their actions are premeditated. As Even though it came off hasty, you feel like they knew what they was doing. But the thing is, you kind of know that this person is going to rush back in because they have a history of going in and out with this Knight of Swords Reverse. So it doesn't surprise you that this person could be returning. And if, if this is resonating for you and you listen to this reading, you're not surprised by that at all because this is what this person does. They're in and out. But you're like, they're hasty. And you know, they're selfish. I don't trust them. And you want to move off. You just want to move forward with the Six of Swords. You're just trying to heal and just progress. And you're like... You're just trying to overcome the challenges in in this connection. And you're just mo you're just escaping. You're moving towards stability. Some of you may even be traveling or moving, like literally moving from one place to another, to like even another state or another country. Like you're just trying to get away. Um, for most of you, you're just moving on. Okay, you're just transitioning out of this situation. You're like, I don't trust this person. Show me Aries' uh, current challenges, please. In regards to this connection. Okay, I have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Wands reverse. And I thought I pulled this already. That's crazy. I feel I feel like I already I already pulled that because I said that I, this person wants to compromise and only have one in the deck. So your challenge is actually. Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. 
there's no real challenge here. You, you like you are dead set on moving forward. I usually don't pull cards like that, but with these cards, I'm getting the energy of you feeling like this person is not stable. They always come, but they never see things through. They're in and out, and your focus is Ace of Pentacles. You are stable, stability and security. You're just manifesting abundance and manif You're just like you're you're secure. You're saying I'm secure. I'm stable. This person isn't, and that's all I really need to know. I'm stable. This person is not, you know, there's nothing here for me. So there's no challenge here because you're so certain about it. So even when this person comes around, you're like, I don't want instability. I don't want insecurity. And that's that. So spirit, please show me advice <laughs> as if you need it. Um, before I move on to advice, I want to know more about this queen of wands reverse. Why did, why the queen of wands reverse? Okay. Show me two more. Why did Aries choose this Queen of Wands reverse? Four cards came out. Okay. I got the Strength reverse, the Queen of for the, the Will of Fortune. I'm sorry. I got the Strength reverse, Leo energy, the Will of Fortune reverse, and the Two of Swords. Um, this person just didn't feel like they were enough. They're very vulnerable. They they didn't feel like they were enough for you. And they allow somebody from the outside to disrupt this connection. Okay? And this was this Queen of Swords reverse. Their intentions wasn't good. It caused a lot of setbacks and delays. But they were receptive to it because they were vulnerable and stupid, to be exact. But all it did was cause them to be stuck with this Two of Swords. Because I asked what was going on with this Queen of of wands reverse it just caused your person to be in stuck energy and then they had to figure out you know what should i do they had a crossroads they're sitting on the fence they had to make a difficult painful decision but at this point they were like they they choose love and love is not tied to this queen of wands reverse love is tied to you they want a partnership they want their soulmate they feel like you're their, that you're their soulmate there's a lot of love. This person does love you. They just don't know how to love you properly. But they do love you. And they had to make a decision to say, you know, I need to be with my person. But they chose wrong. They allowed themselves to be put in a, in a weak position where they somebody was up in their air and they fell for that shit. And it was bad luck. Shit didn't go nowhere. They got their karma for this shit just by being with this person. So now they want to come back and make things right with you. Show me advice, please, for Aries. Wow. Show me advice for Aries. Show me advice, please, for Aries. I got the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands reverse, and the King of Cups reverse. This person that's coming back and they do, they're saying they love you. They do love you, again. But love is, is not just a feeling alone. It's an action. It's, it's certain actions that, that, are, that are of love. This person didn't show you the love. They didn't show you the love. Now they realize they love you. And they want to come rushing in. But this person is still, they, they're only thinking about themselves, but they're like, oh, you know, I want to make a resolve. I want to, no accountability. Only still with this King of Cups reverse, this person, they, they might've gotten bad advice from someone. Or I'm also getting another downloaded message, another possibility, another energy with this King of Cups reverse that your person trusted the wrong person. And it turned out to be something that they didn't want to be a part of. So this Queen of Wands reverse might have lured your person to them because they, they told them about some sort of financial opportunity or something. But it's definitely connected to their past with that Six of Cups. And the person was only looking out for themselves. Okay? So, um... This person wants a reunion with you with this Four of Wands reverse. They realize it caused a lot of unhappiness. But um, there's a Knight of Pentacles here. Show me 
Why is this Knight of Pentacles for you? Because I'm trying to see if this is a new energy for you before I continue with the advice. Because you're like, whatever, I already made up my mind. Oh, yes. There's a new energy here. You could be connecting with the Taurus. Show me one more for this Knight of Pentacles. Wow. This page of cups reverse and the hierophant. So you have two different energies that are coming towards you. One is reliable, one is not. Your person from the past with this page of cups reverse, this is someone who's coming back in again with instability. This person might have childhood issues, childhood trauma. It's just like they don't live up to their own expectations, but they want to come back to you. Meanwhile, you have someone else coming slowly because this person is coming in hasty. We cleared that, right? Your person wants to come back hasty in the near future with this Knight of Swords energy. But you also have a Knight of Pentacles. This is a slow moving, reliable energy. This is someone that you can count on. Reliable. This is patience. This is going to require patience because it's slow moving, but it's a reliable energy. And this person with this hair fit, this is someone that wants a traditional committed relationship. Okay, this is someone that's gonna want marriage. Like they're gonna want something solid. They ain't looking for a lifetime. You guys will share the same traditional values. So you have a, you're gonna have a choice in love. And I feel like you're manifesting this person because when I asked about your challenges, Aries, I got Ace of Pentacles, no challenges. I'm manifesting the stability and the security that I want. That's including this Knight of Pentacles that's coming into you. And you're ready to move on from this person. I feel like this person, it might be a lost cause for this person trying to come back around. I'm sure it is because they're coming back with the same energy saying they want a commitment. They want to compromise. They want to end the conflict between y'all, but they don't even want to be accountable for their behavior. And they still have all these same issues that they left with. And they left you for somebody that wasn't even on your level. And you're the impress. You're high level. Wow. They fumbled you. Before I close out this read, I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. Show me the messages, please, for Aries. I love this for you, though, because you're like, you're so solid about what you want, what you deserve, you know? And you're like, this person can't even see me with the same shit that they put me through. And this person had the audacity to leave me for somebody that's not even on my level and trying to return. And you're like, I know they're going to come back because you know who you are. So you expect this person to come back. But you're already ready to reject this person. <laughs> you're like, you're not stable. I am. This is not good. And you're manifesting stability with this Knight of Pentacles that's coming in. Show me the messages, please, for Aries, please. Show me the messages. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, I feel like this person that comes in and out is, is a codependency connection because I feel like you overgave at one time to this person at the expense of your own emotional stability. And you're like, I'm not doing that shit no more. Show me more. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I feel like you are, Aries, because, again, you're manifesting abundance with this Ace of Pentacles. And then I have you here with Empress Energy. This person sees you as an Empress. They know that you're higher level, but they don't know how to respect that. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yeah, you're not going to be with this person. And, uh, again, you guys are not with this person now, like... But this person is going to come back rushing in, in, the, in the near future. Expect to hear communication from this person. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody you already have your eyes on. So I feel like this person is somebody that you, you've already been in contact with or been around. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And that's true because I get this energy, Aries, about you being about, you know, manifesting you know, spiritually connected. And 
that's why your spirit is so strong or your confidence is so strong and this person is, can't break you anymore you're like been there done that this is not happening new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and i said that i called it there is somebody already around you this knight of pentacles but with the knight of pentacles spirit is saying also be patient in this there's no rush okay be patient with this this is a reliable dependable energy and this is someone offering you a solid commitment but you have new love here and i love that for you right on time so those are the messages that I have for you, Aries, for this reading. If it resonated with you, be sure to tap that like button. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.